yeah. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of This Week in Pioneer Soccer. I'm Nika Blankenship alongside Jack and Sheila Weinberg, head men's soccer coach Jamie Franks. Jamie, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I like your jersey, Nico. <laughs> you know, there were a few comments from our last talk on Instagram about the Carson Halen jersey that has now uh, made its way behind my desk. So thank you for that. Uh, it definitely completes the office in here. But no, let's start with the preseason. Uh, it's about a week or so old now. Just kind of talk about your initial thoughts from what you've seen from this group in the first eight days. Um, just the, the internal competition is a lot higher than it's been in years past. And, you know, I think I've, uh, in other years past, I've been excited about the group. Um, but to have a group like this where it has maturity, it's got an understanding of what's ahead, the adversity that's, you know, that we're about to face, um, to just return that many players, uh, you feel good because you know that the group's going to be resilient and, um, you know, they're going to control the things that they can control. So um, the internal competition is just a, a, a huge bonus for us because whoever wins those positions are, are going to be doing it at a very, very high level. And, and that's ultimately what we need because ultimately, um, you know, you just need to win the first game. You need to get three points on that first game and you move to the second game. But as the season goes on, the lineup does change and, and, and we need guys um, you know, to be, um, you know, peaking at the right time. After a month or so of captain's practices, which I know you're not involved in, and then a week of training, you finally got to quote unquote, as the saying goes, kick another team on Saturday. Just kind of talk about that game versus Air Force and what maybe impressed you and what are some things that you saw that you guys can improve upon? Yeah, you know, I think uh, to be able uh, to play Air Force and to play the style of uh, a soccer that we wanted to play, um, you know, sometimes I think when you play them, uh, they can be fitter and stronger and maybe tougher than you. And I didn't think any of those things this time. And, and it was even like that in the spring, you know, uh, I know we tied the spring game one, one, but that was their only shot on goal in that game. And, and in this past game, they had no shots on goal. So, um, you know, to be able to, you know, we kind of say like fight to play against a team like that is, you know, they're very direct and they're very effective with that style. Um, but it disrupts the game and it disrupts the rhythm. And so for us to be able to be in, you know, be the main dictators, of our possession and, and what and, and where we wanted to play on the field. Um, that's what I was most happy about. Uh, I also think you look back about some guys who played in the extra 30 minutes and then you fast forward in one year and now those guys are in the first team and those guys are playing minutes. Um, it really complements uh, my support staff and all the things that they're doing to, to develop guys. And, 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 and in one year's time, these guys are maybe someone that redshirted and now starting. Um, it just shows that the, you know, that we're doing the right things, uh, in the off seasons. And so just really excited about the group, um, you know, and, and, and I think anytime that you play a game, um, there's obviously tons of things that we can work on and we've identified those things, but the most important part of it all is agreeing, agreeing as staff and players that, Hey, these are the, these are the areas of concern, or these are the areas that we need to get better at. And that's why I really like the team. I think the team's self-aware, they're honest, they're leaders because they've been mature, because they're around. Um, they just have a little bit more understanding of, of you know, what it is and, and the importance of us getting on the same page. Shame, just kind of talk about the importance of being able to take the one match at a time, like you talked about, with this group that you have, knowing that, that, that this team has the ambition to compete well into November and December. I think... Um, as I continue to learn about leadership, you know, one of the most important things we do as leaders is to make sure that people are focused is, you know, is narrow and it's internal. And so for me, it's only about the one game. It, it can't be about anything else besides that one game. And, and, and if we take that approach and we really try to maximize ourselves on the day um, and we reflect in the right way, then, then we're going to get more out of that day than you know, than other people. And, and, you know, uh, I am always nervous uh, early in the season when, when you're going to play all these tough games. And, and the whole reason we're doing this is to find adversity. Um, it's just how the group's going to deal with that adversity and how the group is going to kind of really kind of use it as an opportunity to grow. And that's why I feel really confident in this group because no matter what happens, there's so many good players, there's so many good leaders. It's just, it's a really good group. And so um, we know that we're going to have to work hard, roll up our sleeves and, and, and learn some lessons along the way. Um, you know, but the main focus is about our processes and it's about our systems. And so it's constantly refining those things. And even in the national championship, in the summit league championship game, 
teams, like you know, we're going to be talking about our system of play. We're going to be talking about the details that go into it. And so, um, you know, as, as much as you want your focus to be on broad, you know, the, 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 the broad, the external things, my job as the leader is to make sure that our focus is on the narrow and internal things that we can control. Shane, October 15th, one of the highlight games of the year is always the alumni game, bringing those guys back, getting the guys on top of Barton Stadium or behind the goal on the other side of the field and just really creating that atmosphere that I think that we all want to create here. Um, just talk about that's significant of that date. It's October 15th against UMKC at seven o'clock, but more importantly, again, how great it is to bring those alums back and, and allow them to see how the programs progress as their time here. Yeah. I think the only thing you missed was getting some drinks in them too, when they're up there on that part. <laughs> Listen, the whole program and everything we're trying to do is about uh, leaving the community better than the day that we found it. And so our alumni are, are, are true pioneers in doing that. Like the program, just the, the jump that it's had, you know, from Chad and Jeff and then, then to Bobby to where we're at now, there's so many people that have laid an important foundational work down. And so um, whenever alumni can come back, whether it's a lot on alumni weekend or, you know, now that we're hitting the road, we'll start to see some alumni, you know, pop up in some different cities. We just encourage them to reach out to us. We encourage them to be around the team, uh, come to a team meal, um, you know, say hello after the games. Uh, but they're the reason why we work and, 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 you know, uh, men's soccer since COVID happened is just, uh, really has banded together and come together and, and, and done some really cool initiatives that we're still driving forward. And so this alumni game is just more about connecting the, the, the past players to the current ones and, and ultimately allowing the past players to see like how passionate these guys are about the program, how much pride they take in being a part of our community. And um, most of all, how damn good they are. You know, these guys are so committed and they work so hard. And, and you know, I know that at the end of the day, any alumni is going to support a guy who, who is who is gritty, who is proactive and, and you know, and cares about their position. And those are things you can control. And um, I just, you know, it's just such a great event. And, uh, you know, we're really excited to get our alumni back. Jamie, thanks for your time today. Uh, we'll catch you into September at some point, And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Nix. Yeah, of course. Take care.